All right, so in this video, we're going to look at the quotient rule. And what we're going to look at is how we deal with two terms that are divided by each other, and we need to differentiate those terms. In this example, we have a term, which is x to the power of 4, divided by another term, which is x to the power of 5. So like the product rule, we need to define these two terms. So let's say this is f, and this one will be g. So this bottom term will be g. So the, the rule is, when we have f over g, and this needs to be differentiated, this will become f prime by g minus g prime by f divided by g squared. Okay, so this is the quotient rule. So for this example, what we need to do is we need to define our terms. Like we did with the product rule, we needed to start defining our terms. So this is the quotient rule. f is x to the power of 4. f prime is 4x to the power of 3. g is x to the power of 5. And g prime is 5x to the power of 4. Okay, so let's write this expression uh, using these terms. Okay, so f prime is 4x to the power of 3 multiplied by g, which is x to the power of 5, minus g prime, which is 5x to the power of 4, by uh, an f is x to the power of 4. And then all of this divided by x to the power of 5 squared. All right, so now we have our expression and we can solve this. This will become 4x to the power of 8 minus 5x to the power of 8 divided by, and then we have x to the power of 5 squared, which will be x to the power of 10. And then we can simplify this minus x to the power of 8 divided by x to the power of 10. 8 minus 10, we're going to be left with minus x to the power of negative 2. And then if we rearrange this, we'll have negative 1 over x to the power of 2. And then this will be the final solution. All right, so pause the video and try and solve these next four examples. All right, so let's do the next one. We have f is equal to x minus 1, f prime is equal to just 1. And we have g is equal to x plus 1, and g prime is equal to just one as well. Okay, so we can rewrite this expression in this form. Okay, so we have one and then x plus one minus uh, g prime is one and then f is x minus one divided by g squared, which will be x plus one squared. Now we can solve this. We can, we can expand the brackets and we can solve this. So we'll have x plus one minus x. Then we have plus one. So we have a negative, negative one times negative one. So we're gonna have plus one and the bottom can stay as it is, x plus one squared. Okay, so next, x minus x, these two can cancel out and we're left with one plus one is two. So this will be two divided by x plus one squared. And this will be the final solution. All right, so the next one, we have f, f is going to be equal to x squared minus 5. f prime will just be equal to 2x. Uh, g is equal to x squared plus 4. And g prime is equal to 2x. Okay, so using our quotient rule, we can write the expression again. So f prime, 2x multiplied by, we have brackets here, multiplied by x squared plus 4 minus g prime is 2x multiplied by x squared minus five, okay? And then here we have divided by g, which is x squared plus four squared, okay? Now we can simplify this and we go two x to the power of three plus eight x minus two x to the power of three plus 10 x divided by x squared plus four squared, okay? This will be equal to, these two will cancel out and we're left with 18x. 18x divided by x squared plus 4 squared. And that will be, this will be the final solution. All right, for the next one, we have f is equal to x to the power of 1 over 2. And f prime is equal to 1 over 2, x to the power of 1 over 2. Then we have g is equal to 3x, and g prime is equal to 3. 
So we have 1 over 2x to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by g, which is 3x, minus g prime, which is 3, multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2. And this is divided by 3x squared. All right, so to simplify this, we need to get rid of this 2x to the power of 1 over 2 here. Okay, so what we can do is we can focus on just this first. So this can be rewritten like 3x over 2x to the power of 1 over 2 divided by 3x, and this is squared. And then we can write this part, rewrite this part. So this will be minus, and this will be 3x to the power of 1 over 2 divided by 3x and squared. Okay, so now, now it's a bit more clear of what we need to do in order to solve this problem. If we can rewrite it like this, it will be 3x divided by 2x to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 3x squared. And then here we have 3x 1 over 2 divided by 3x squared. All right, so all we've done is we've separated these different terms so we can see it more clearly of what we need to do. 3x over 2x to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by 3x squared minus minus 3x to the power of 1 over 2 over 3x squared. All right, so what we can see is that this side has a 2x to the power of 1 over 2 and this side doesn't. So what we need to do is we need to multiply this term by 2x to the power of 1 over 2. So this will become 3x minus, so 2 times 3 is 6, we've got 6, x to the power of 1 over 2 by x to the power of 1 over 2 is just x, and then this will be divided by 2x to the power of 1 over 2 times 3x squared. Okay, so now we can simplify even further. Here we can get negative 3x. All right, so now we can expand this, and this will become 9x squared, right? So 9 by 2 is 18, and then we have x to the power of, x to the power of 5 over 2. All right, so for this one, now we can simplify further, and we'll just have negative 1 over 6, x to the power of 3 over 2. And then this will be the final solution. All right, so now we have the final problem. So we have f is equal to 3x squared plus 5x plus 4. And then we have f prime is equal to 6x plus 5. g, g is equal to x to the power of 1 over 2. And g prime is equal to 1 over 2, x to the power of 1 over 2. Okay, so now we can put it in this form, in our quotient rule form, and we can solve it. f prime, which is 6x plus 5, and that's multiplied by g, which is x to the power of 1 over 2 x to the power of 1 over 2 minus, we have uh, g prime, which is 1 over 2 x to the power of 1 over 2, multiplied by f, which is 3x squared plus 5x plus 4. And all of that divided by g squared, which will be x 1 over 2 squared. Okay, so now we can solve this problem. So same as the last problem, we need to get rid of this 2x to the power of 1 over 2. The next step will be 6x to the power of 3 over 2 plus 5x to the power of 1 over 2 divided by, and this will be, if we simplify this, this will just be x minus 3x squared plus 5, uh, 5x plus 4 divided by 2x to the power of 3 over 2. All right, so now what we can see is that this side is missing a 2x the power of 1 over 2. Okay, so in order to get uh, 2x to the power of 3 over 2 here, we need to multiply all of this by 2x to the power of 1 over 2. This will become 12x to the power of 2 plus 10x divided by 2x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 3x squared plus 5x plus 4 divided by 2x to the power of 3 over 2. And now we can subtract these terms, so add and subtract these terms. So what we'll have here is 12x squared minus 3x squared, which will be 9x squared, 10x minus 5x plus 5x, and then minus 4. So we have minus 4 here. And divided by 2x 
to the power of 3 over 2. And then this will be the final solution.